Moving on to our living room, uh, although this part of the model is partially visible in the shot, if we take a look at our normal scene camera. It's only going to be partially visible here, but it's also going to contribute to the scene in terms of shading and lighting and some of the details. So to start, you want to turn on the living room group, and you want to navigate to living room lamp and let's change this to item cam and make and press shift A once you select the item that'll bring your camera to the view so the base has already been textured through the dark wood material so what I have left is this is the light bulb the lampshade and the chrome material let's start off with the simple one the chrome just right click we're going to load a preset this is going to be the metal chrome. Grab that metal, put it into the group material, get rid of the preset group and the old material. And bring down the roughness to 5%. We want to have blurry reflections to break up the shine of or the reflections of the chrome, but keep the nice shine of it. Next step is the side lamp bulb. So the first thing I want to do is change the color to a desaturated peach. Let's actually grab this color and save it in your color palette if you can. Or you can just remember those numbers, whichever one you want. Bring down the specular and take the intensity to 1. Again, change the luminous color to that same color we chose before. And we're going to add a shader to the material. Now grab the side lamp bulb group and take it above the base shader. So the next step is to actually add a light, point light. We're going to call the side lamp light. And from the top view, bring it all the way to your side lamp. You want to position it in the middle of the light bulb. So switching to a wireframe mode is going to help. Go to the front view or side view and take it up to the light bulb. Now as it is, the point light will give me very harsh shadows or very straight edge shadows. So we want to increase the radius to about 0 0.045, which is 4.5 centimeters. And you'll see the round circle around your light, encompass the entire light bulb. Okay, So right now it's not doing much because the light bulb surface itself is casting a shadow and it's hiding it from the, from the actual uh, light property. So what we want to do is in the base shader, go to the side lamp bulb shader that we added and put do not cast shadows, do not receive shadows, and not visible to indirect rays so it doesn't waste our time calculating global illumination inside the actual lamp. Okay, that looks good. Let's actually grab that side lamp and make it a child of the living room lamp. That way if I ever move the living room lamp, it'll just move with it without losing its uh, nice location for the bulb. So, not much to see here except for the light now has begun to be uh, to cast on the surroundings. You want to change the light intensity to 5, up from 3. And if you expand that and go to light material, choose the color of the same peach which we had before. And that will break the, the, white, light, the white color of the light. Moving on to the lampshade itself, we're going to change the diffuse color to a nice mid-tone beige. we go. Lose the specular. We're going to go to materials, trans, and change the subsurface amount to 7%. Change the color to that same desaturated peach that we had before. And the scattering distance to 0 0.003 millimeters. If you've noticed, the lampshade itself does have a thickness, so there's an actual thickness to it. It's not flat poly. It's not going to be like the leaps that we're going to see later. 
and we're going to increase the luminous intensity to 0.1 and also give it that same peach color. What this will do is illuminate some of the light into the room without having to put on uh, subsurface scattering affecting global illumination, which takes a lot of time to render. Okay? Let's take a look from our other camera, the scene cam. You're starting to see some of the effects of the lighting here. Clean up your item list. And save this as shot side lamp LXO.